Hello and I welcome for this uh, data engineering, uh, especially this module 5 knowledge check. So this is about this uh, securing and scaling the data pipeline. So this is the knowledge check. I already opened this uh, in a separate tab. Uh, I put this in a full screen. Yeah. Uh, let me start. The first question, a data engineer would like to improve the, their overall data security after encountering uh, suspicious activity in their environment. Which principles can they apply to help strengthen their data security? Select three. So you can say enhance this, enable this traceability, uh, implement a strong identity foundation, and also protect the data in transit and rest yeah. that's correct the second question the system administrator creates a cryptographic key for their organization but as the organization grows they find it more difficult to audit and manage all the keys <coughs> they still would like to control encryption of uh, data across AWS services which AWS service would be the best to meet their need so that is, uh, I mean, you can use this key management service. Yeah, that's correct. Third one, an administrator needs to identify uh, AWS IAM after who terminated a production EC2 instance. Which service uh, should they use in the situation that is a cloud trial, the log service? Yeah, that's correct. The fourth one, a data engineer would like to control access to workload in process. Which security best practices should they implement? So implement least privilege policies. I mean uh, monitor infrastructure changes. I take this and prevent this unintended access. That's that should be the correct answer. Yes. The fifth question. A data engineer would like to Im improve the security of data processing phase of a machine learning pipeline. What are the best practices that uh, could implement select like three? So you can use this the following. I mean, enforce uh, enforce this data lineage. Keep the keep only the relevant data. Yes, I take this also. And the third one. of data, keep only the relevant data and enforce data lineage, ok, great, it looks great, let me submit, yeah, correct, fifth one is correct, the sixth one, which statements are true regarding uh, the horizontal and vertical scaling, select two, so you need to basically Add, adding more instances, ec instances, yeah. Adding more instances to your resource pool is example of horizontal scaling, that is correct. And upgrading to a higher ec type is called as uh, vertical, yes, this is vertical. And you need to add more resources, that is correct, that should be. Yeah. Seventh one. A data engineer is building their infrastructure. They would like to create and deploy infrastructure as a code to simplify and automate this process. Which service could the data engineer use to accomplish this task? Uh, yeah, this cloud foundation. So that's correct. Eighth one. Which section of AWS cloud formation template is the only required section and specifies resources, which is an Amazon EC2 instance or S3 bucket or their properties that is resources. Correct. Ninth one, what are the reasons for a data engineer might use uh, AWS cloud formation to set up resources instead of manually setting up them? So select three. Yeah, uh, you can select simply 
simplify infrastructure management. Quickly, yes, this should be the correct one. Uh, easily control and track changes to the infrastructure. And the third one should be yeah, simplify infrastructure. Yes, that's also correct. Correct. The last one in AWS uh, Cloud Formation template, how could an engineer ensure that Amazon EC2 instance is created? before an RDS database is created. Okay, use uh, depends on attribute in the properties section of Amazon RDS resource. Yes, you can select that. Yes, that is correct. And we have scored 10 out of 10, I think. Yes. Uh, congratulations, you have completed this module. Fine. Let us meet in the next module. Thank you and bye.